Okay, so uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to create SVG or scalable vector graphics in Adobe Illustrator. Now, the fact that you've already come across this tutorial means that you're obviously aware of some of the great reasons why SVGs work so well in modern web design. Firstly, for responsive designs, you can um, change the size, resize them because they're uh, vector mathematical drawings rather than pixel based raster graphics. Secondly, for the same reason, with uh, retina screens, the really high resolution screens that we designed for today, because they're um, vector artwork, they look crisp, really sharp at any resolution. And thirdly, SVGs can actually produce a smaller file size than their PNG counterparts. So if you take a look at this example here, I've got this uh, PNG version, and it's actually 10 kilobytes in size, whereas its SVG counterpart, which we can use at any size, is less than half of the file size. Okay, so to make them, I'm going to assume you've already got your artwork ready to go in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure that all of your um, paths and shapes are grouped and also flattened. If you're using any text, then it's really worthwhile expanding this so you just end up with a flat um, path for all of, your, all of your artwork. What you can also do is if you open up the Pathfinder, is if you've got a simple shape like mine that's all one piece, just use the shape modes to merge all the pieces together like so. Okay, so the real fiddly bit with making the SVG is just uh, cutting down the artboard to match the size, trimming the white space, if you like, off the canvas. And to do this, we simply head over in the toolbar to the artboard tool like so. And this then gives us the presets at the top. And I'm just gonna select fit to artwork bounds. Once I've done that, the graphic is ready to save. I'm going to go to File, Save As. Save it on my desktop. And obviously I'm going to select SVG from the options available. Now the great thing is that all of these options that are preloaded in by default are the recommended ones to use. So SVG 1.0. The only real thing you want to pay attention to is the decimal places setting just here. If you've got a really complex shape, you might want to include, uh, sorry, increase this from 1 to 7, and default's 3, but you'll probably find that for most graphics, the 3, 4 is fine. If you've got a lot of detail and you're not getting the quality output image, just increase that to 7. We'll give you a slightly bigger file size, but just adjust that to suit. Now, if you're using um, Illustrator CC, you might see the responsive setting like I've got just here. It doesn't really do a lot because all SVGs are responsive anyway. The responsive tick just seems to take out a few size settings and so forth. So hit save, and that's it, and you get your SVG graphic saved like so. Now don't be too put off by what looks like an incorrect fitting artboard over here. This is just the way that uh, Mac is handling the file because it thinks it's an Illustrator file, and it goes for the same once you open it up. With the preview, you'll see that the graphic doesn't really snugly fit, but you'll soon see once you resize the image, it is indeed trimmed to the artboard. There's one final thing that you can do before you use your SVG graphic, and that's just to trim away any unnecessary coding. So Adobe Illustrator does give you a few opening XML and uh, comments document type. You can simply trim all that away. All that you need is the opening SVG tag, the paths, like so. And that's it. Your SVG is ready to use. 